So today I'm going to be creating a look and doing swatches of this new limited edition Lorac palette and this is a collaboration with a Rachel Zoe. If you saw my Black Friday and Cyber Monday haul that I had from Ulta Sephora then you must know that I got this palette and I told you I was going to create a look for you. This retails for $15 and they did make like five different uh, mini palettes but this is the one that I picked because this also has has some mattes <gasps> and I think the rest are all shimmers I'm not sure but look at that I can't wait to see what we're gonna create show you the swatches too once I'm done telling you the shades so the first one is champagne we have chiffon we have blush sepia amaranth and gold sequins of course I'm dying for gold sequins we are gonna work with the formula to see what method of applying works better if maybe with the finger if we apply some like concealer first we'll see all of that I'll show you the swatches here so you see what all the shades look like this is definitely a great stocking stuffer like I said in that video where I showed you my haul Lorac is one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows they're so buttery one of my favorite palettes ever is this one which you guys told me to make a look also to this is the Lorac Pro palette number two and this is another beautiful one and I just had to get it again because the one I had was sold before we get started with the look if you're new welcome my name is Jen Jen's Beauty Style and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy don't forget if you want to see everything else that I got Friday and Cyber Monday check out the haul I will leave it at the end of this video let's go ahead and get started first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some powder under my eyes because this palette I think is gonna have some fallout so I'm just using this Fenty Beauty loose powder and I'm gonna just put like a generous amount like this under my eyes so if any like glitter falls or anything you can just like wipe it off looking beautiful forget to prime the eyes and I'm using this Anastasia eye primer you guys know it's one of my favorites just putting two dots a little goes a long way so take your finger or a brush and just blend that out and I'm going to go with this shade here sepia I'm gonna take a fluffy brush this is one that I got in an ipsy bag I'm gonna take that color and I'm just gonna put this on my crease so like this this will be a nice transition shade going back and forth and then in circular motions and concentrated here in the corner this just helps everything blend better and I'm also blending upwards so you want to make sure that the brush is like fluffy and not too like stiff so you can really um, blend well the stiffer ones are more to like pack the color going into this shade here which is called amaranth I'm just gonna take a little as of now they're blending beautifully and remember these are the matte shades so they're usually tougher and I'm just packing it on like this in the corner there we get a nice amount I'm just gonna blend the rest just on top of that other shade like this I have like a nice smoky effect I'm bringing it just a little more almost towards the middle of the lid and I'm gonna use this shade here chiffon I'm just gonna switch the brush now this is not a matte I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna put it like towards the middle and just blend those two shades together So you don't want any harsh lines such beautiful shades and I'm just like packing this on just a little bit on top of the other one the end we're gonna intensify this corner again I am gonna use this shade here called gold sequence which a beautiful name for this I do want to use my finger but before that I do want to apply some concealer I'm just gonna use this tart one and I'm just gonna put just a bit here like this I'm just gonna take this little elf brush and I'm just gonna blend that carefully so it's all the way to the crease 
and if you go past the color it's okay we can always just add more but we just want to make this base so that gold sequin shade really pops you don't have to do this but it will just look nicer in this shade which look at that so let's pack this it's best if we close our eyes though and I'm just pressing you don't want to start like blending or tugging you just really want to like pack on this color as you see we don't need glue or anything Wow we're gonna take this color here which is the darkest and we're just gonna put that in the outer corner and just blend we don't want to lose that darkness and you could always go with another palette that has an even darker shade maybe some black would be nice just a little to really darken it but I want to concentrate this video to just use this palette we're also gonna put some of that below just a little to tie everything together you don't have to do this sometimes when I put um, shades like under my eyes my eyes get watery for some reason so you can skip any step I'm gonna put some more of this gold sequins as of now I can't do my eyes first and then like my face makeup I know a lot of people do it like that at first but I can't taking the first shade which is champagne and I'm thinking that's gonna go beautiful in the inner corner let's see I'm telling you everything is blending like I just love Lorac I really do before I do the eyeliner and everything else I just want to finish this eye then I'll put eyeliner and lashes see the completed look just look at that oh my god and really it doesn't surprise me like I said my experience the palettes that I have tried from them have been like to die for you know, I was so excited to create this look that I even forgot like to read a little to you so I'm just gonna tell you quickly really quickly what it says website so it says exclusive undeniably addictive texture in an adorable size for the ultimate impulsive indulgence new diamond shine formula contains a hundred percent certified authentic diamonds this fine quadruple milled powder offers a creamy like no tug application and it's travel friendly and the only thing i'm going to say is be careful with with this shade that it doesn't go like inside your eyes I did go ahead and use two eyeliners i usually use two because for the wing um, the only one that works for me is the elf one but for the rest I use this one is called Jante blue I get it in an ipsy subscription and I really like it you can really like make it really thin it's just really precise application the lashes of course if you're new to my channel you may not know but I love these from Ilore. I just stocked up on them on Black Friday Cyber Monday again watch the haul so you can see what I got but this is in the style Marquise. I also went ahead and applied one of my favorite highlighters in the world because I hadn't yet and it's by Benefit. This one just comes in a palette and it's the WhatsApp highlighter. It's like a cream. It just blends into your skin. No powdery finish or anything. I did have powder on my face and it looks great on top anyway. And for the lips I just have the Buxom White Russian because can't go wrong with that one is my favorite can do so many different things like this could be like a super super glam palette as you can see and also you have so many neutrals so like this one is beautiful for all over the lid this one as well I would definitely like do this for like an everyday look super easy love that it's mattes and shimmers it reminds me like of the look I created using the Jeffree Star palette I just love that palette as much as I do but this just blends better and then oh it's just to die for just gonna zoom in try to do different angles so you can see the look Lorac 
Netflix, Rachel Zoe, Hollywood Glamour Mini Palette. This video, thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little notification bell. That way you'll be the first to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.